Stripe is building a new identity product that can instantly verify a person's details. All it takes is just a few lines of code. Let me actually walk you through them. Right here, I can just pass some basic information to Stripe to prepare the verification flow. We can specify the type of, uh, of document we'd like to, to verify, in this case, an identity document. And finally, I'm passing here the account email so I can track who I'm trying to verify in my system. And with that, I get back a URL, and I can send my users uh, to this very simple flow. It's really that simple. Stripe will handle all the rest for me. So let's see it in action. I just signed up here as a customer of our marketplace. I'm interested in Laura's home in Singapore as I'm at an next vacation spot. Now, this is the first time I'm using the service, so I'll need to verify my identity before I can complete the booking. I will be guided through a very simple onboarding to take a photo of my ID or passport. But right before we do that, let me actually use our CLI to receive events happening live on the platform so we can see what's happening behind the scenes. Great. So now let's go ahead and click Verify. I'm going to use my California driver's license right here. I'm going to bring the front side of the license in front of the camera right here. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take a photo of the back side. Here we go. That was good. As you can probably tell on the screen, this was a made-up ID. I didn't want any of you to pretend to be me. So we actually had to hard code this ID in our system. Otherwise, our verification API would have rejected it as a forgery. All right, looks good, so let's submit. And that's it. In just a few seconds, Stripe verifies that ID, and we're back on Caval. And you don't even have to wait for that verification to complete. You can receive a webhook event uh, to, to easily update your data store or even email your customer when that verification process completes. Jumping back to our CLI, as you can see, some events came through, and that's the successful event of that verification we just tried. Awesome. So now we have verified, so I can go ahead and complete my booking. Let's use Apple Pay and Touch ID. I have a card in my wallet right here. All right. Ready? Don't blink. And processing payment. And that's done. And this was real payment, by the way. And we just sent that money to Laura's account on Connect. So with a few extra lines of code, we just made our platform safer by verifying the identity of every renter. We've not only saved a lot of engineering time, Stripe also tokenizes and encrypts sensitive data, such as passports and social security numbers. So this kind of personal information will never touch your servers.